in all the courtness. Deacon Dudley's life was wholly dedicated to the Lord. He was always heard saying, this ain't no plaything. <laughs> we have to say what we mean and mean what we say about serving the Lord Jesus Christ. And that's what he meant. His business was and still is kingdom business, which is evident in those lives he has touched and the legacy he has left. He remains active and faithful to the Lord, to the church, and to his family. A hands-on father who is active in the education and activities of his family, a proud father, grandfather, and great-grandfather, who we all knew, who knew all the names of the children. Attended every school, sport, and church activity, and he will be seen recording them at each event. As the head of the family, fatherhood was his ministry too, and he took it equally as seriously, nurturing, protecting, and supporting his entire family in every way. Our present time, John the Baptist, the voice crying out, reminded us constantly to trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge my Father, and he will direct your path. On June 12, 2013, at 12.26 p.m., surrounded by his loving and devoted family, a longtime family friend, co-laborer in the gospel, Dr. Tony Booker, and family friend, Deontay Johnson, joining the host of loved ones who have gone before him, especially his two special angels in heaven, his beloved wife, Deaconess Gloria Dudley, and his precious great-granddaughter, Gloria Leanne Monique Dudley, both of whom preceded him to eternal life. He leaves to cherish his memories and uphold his legacy. His four daughters, Jacqueline Dudley Spann and Kenneth, Nicole Dudley, Regino, Letitia Dudley Durrell, Brian, Mich missionary Latoya Dudley Ward, Bernardo, 11 grandchildren, his fifth child, Denise, De excuse me, <laughs> Deaconess, <laughs> Helena Dudley, Robert, Nico, Tyron, Devon, Rodney, Jasmine, Desjuan, Serenity, Renardo, Carlos, Santonio, and Carlita. Yes, sir. Eight grand, great grandchildren, Tony, Jalen, Lil Lena, Junior Deacon, John W. III, Angel, Faith, Jasmine, Eric, and Kennedy. One sister-in-law, Emma Cross of New York. Two brother-in-laws, Robert and Eugene Rounds, both of New York. Two special sisters, Anna Palou and trustee Gloria Stewart. Niece, Susan, Susan Sotmeyer, whom he raised, and his hairdresser, Crystal Gibbs, who always kept him looking sharp and distinguished, along with a host of nieces, nephews, cousins, his pastor and friend, Dr. Jerry L. James, his coffee buddy, Sister Bernice Barron, his entire church family, and friends. Thank you to the deacons and trustees for looking after Deacon Dudley during his brief illness. A special thank you to Trustee Sam Wright for keeping him well groomed. A special thank you to his niece, Natalie, and his nephew, Nathaniel, for coming to Detroit to assist with his care. Amen. Missionary Baptist Church with the um, Pastor Stevo. To the family of Deacon Dudley, we extend our prayers and support at the loss of your loved one. We have shared a long fellowship with great Ephesians and found, her, and found Deacon to be great assistant to your church. Not only did he love the Lord, but it was evidence in his commitment to his service for so many years. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God. Amen. To them that are called according to his purpose. Romans 8, 28. When you look at the life of Deacon Dudley and look at the devotion he had for the Lord and the church, it's evidence that he was called to serve and is now resting from his labor. Amen. May God bless and 
and forever keep you, his face will shine upon you. That was from uh, Pastor Pluto. God be with you in your loss. The very same God who made you love you will all the tenders and compassion a father heart can hold. You are more important to him than you could ever imagine. Call upon me in the days of trouble, I will deliver thee. Psalms 50, 15. At the time of sadness, may you find strength in God and comfort in the warm and loving calls of others. With heartfelt sympathy, this is from Saint Mark Saint from Second Saint Mark Saint Saint from Saint Saint Power Baptist Church. There you go. That's saying in your reading, huh? <laughs> May God bless you with comfort. Bless are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Yeah, that is five four. May he wrap his arms around you and remind you of all the wonderful memories you can reflect on with sympathy from Ernest Coverston. With deep sympathy because we care. Because we care, our warm thoughts go out to you today with more concern with sympathy than we could ever say. Because we care with sadness by the grief you're feeling now and want so much to comfort you and embrace your heart somehow. We hope that the love of friends will help to see you through and that time will bring you brighter days because we care from Chris Moore and family. And one more. To say we're sorry doesn't come close to express how deeply we feel for your loss. Wishing you strength, healing, and peace during the sad time. Deep and simply from the Anderson's family, from the Dudley family. The family of the Deacon John. Dudley Jr. acknowledged to simply appreciate your understanding, your prayers, and all the acts of kindness at the time of our grief. Amen. 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 Dearest Grandpa, we love you like a father and still do. Though you are gone, you will never be forgotten. You will be missed. I love you. The love I have for you is unexplainable. My love for you will always be. This is unbelievable. I haven't yet accepted this to be real. You are my grandfather and I needed you here for me. And my son, who do I turn to for help and guidance? Who will I tell my good news to? Yeah. My love runs deep, strong, and firm. I love you. I look at this world in a whole new way. I do know one thing, God needed you more. Although I feel I wasn't given enough time to be with you, I will never, ever forget when you said you love me. And I tell you, as I stand here for you and no one else, a young black woman, I love you forever and always. My heart, your first granddaughter, Nicole. Amen. Title. 
Dear Grandpa, I feel as if the tears that came down for you wasn't done. I wiped my eyes, but my insides were still crying. You were, my, you were the best grandfather to me, and still is. I never thought this would, this would happen. I thought you would live forever. I can still feel your presence as I write this for you. I'll keep my head high and try my best to be the young man you want me to be. No more being sick. No more pain. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. No headaches. You're free. I love you, Grandpa. We will meet again. I can't wait for you and Grandma to meet me at the gate. Amen. Tony, Grandpa, you were like my father. You were the only male role model in my life for 17 years. You tried your hardest to keep me on the right track. Your favorite words to me was, trouble is easy to get into and hard to get out of. Amen. I love you and hope to see you one day with the rest of the family. Right. Grandpa, though I never knew anything before when you were younger, every time I pick up one of your older pictures, it seems as if you don't age at all. And you always knew how to rock a three-piece suit. <laughs> even, though it, even though it hurts, I remember that you came for one reason. Hmm. That you came to earth with one mission, and that was to serve the Lord. Job. My grandpa was a good man. Through the day, through the days I've known him, I always, I was always given your, I was always given the t utmost time with you. I was given your whole name. I was always by your side. I was like your first son. Dad Juan, thank you, Grandpa, for all you have done, for all you have taught me, and all you have done for me. You was always there for me when I needed you, and I needed anything. I always enjoyed going to church with you. I love you, and I'm going to miss you more than anything. Dad Renee, Grandpa, I learned so many academics and other things that I've learned, I learned from you. And it really hurts my feelings that you are gone, but I know that it was your time to go. I just want, I just want you to know that I love you. Devon, see you and Grandma when I get there. Amen. Amen. Grandchildren. Grandpa, more like my shine tonight. Words cannot even explain on how much you mean. From your wise words to your mother heart, not even the good people to tell you apart. Your breath, the soul which lives within you. You know which lives. The soul which loves within you. My, motion, my motivation, a teacher, and forever will be the strongest man I know to have been a living testimony on this side of earth. As I write, the tears come continuously because your, your father did a few minutes away. The Lord knows I wish heaven had visited ours because not a day will have or will go by where I don't think about my true love. Rest, rest your head, baby. You fought an extraordinary battle. Love always, your great grandchildren.
Praise the Lord. Alright. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Give an eye to Christ Jesus, who was always the author and finisher of my faith. Amen. To our pastors, ministers, and just overwhelmed on today. Can you turn it down a little bit, Mr. Um, I'm not going to stand here and hold you long. I'm thanking God today that I'm able to breathe Amen. so that I can stand here and sing for my father. Amen.
as much as he can tell me. This, this is the kind of whole type of home going he should have. Given, given praise to the usual plural triumph God. Because he's worthy to be praised. With the rising of the sun, until we're going down with the sun. that I can just sit back and relax and just say amen. amen. Another thing is, uh, Brother Henry, James Henry, proprietor of Morris Funeral Home, suggested that I ask you, those who are going to be in the processional, to go after the flowers are collected by the flower bearers, to go directly to your cars because it's, it's important that we get out, leave the church before 12 o'clock, before 12 o'clock. It's about 20 minutes to now. And another thing, by way of observation, I noticed in, in the uh, 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 program that somebody is standing next to Deacon Dudley. You have a, you have a, a picture, do you see, do you see the one that's standing on his right, I believe, on the inside, not on the front, but on the inside. You see that person? You see that clearly? My eyesight's gotten dimmer, but I can see that. And that's, 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 that's joy. Pure, unadulterated joy. I believe Deacon Dudley was looking forward to this for a long time. Proverbs. Three, five, and six. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Don't lean to your own understanding, but in all of your ways, 
Acknowledge him. Amen. And he shall direct Amen. your path. Amen. Would you do something for me? If you love Deacon Dudley, you love his parents, his, his family, would you put your hand right here, please? Just put your hand right there, if you please. Because I want this to be interactive. Right. You, you're going to take a part in this. Because this is for all of us. Amen. He blessed, I believe, everyone in here, either directly or indirectly. Oh, I can tell a story, Saints. I'm going to keep telling it, but I'm not going to try to tell it all today. <laughs> Deacon Dudley exemplified what he said. Had a neighbor come to the service last night. And, and she said that Deacon Dudley would be on the porch reading the scriptures, helping people in the neighborhood. Passing out the greens he would raise and the tomatoes he would raise. I remember Deacon Dudley gave me some of those tomatoes. And I took them home. And I put them in the refrigerator. My grandchildren moved the store-bought tomatoes. Because I put them in front of the ones that Deacon Dudley gave me. They moved the store-bought tomatoes. I don't know how they knew. I, they were nice and red and got those. And that's just an example of what Deacon Dudley did. Through years, I believe it was spoken that he and his family came uh, to a great Ephesian in 1978 and blessed us. And see something out say, I'm gonna mind you something. You see the Dudley family there? Something happened in the Dudley clan, the Dudley family. Sister Gloria Dudley could sing, and Deacon John Dudley could sing. And when the genetics got hooked up, just about every one of their children could can sing, they can blow. What I'm trying to get you to see in a few moments is this. Dick and Dudley did not just come this way to be a blessing to all of us. What he did is he, 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 he left us as far as spirit going on, but his family's here. And great Ephesians, we know that the Dudley family is a blessing to us. We know that we love them and they love us. When De Deacon Dudley was going through challenges, I tried to get there every time I could pass with Griffin. Sometimes, you know, I would sell the drag, and that's another story, I'm not gonna tell that. But I would do my best to get there with the family. And when I got there, we would kick it. <laughs> we sit there and eat sandwiches together, smile and laugh. And, and I could tell the Dudley daughters fell at home with me being there. They didn't try, you know, to and, and, and look at look at this, Saints. If God if, if God sees it and hears it, we should respect him. And if a man, a pastor, a bishop, a uh, evangelist, a divine potentate, whatever the title may be. We shouldn't be, you know, the way you roll is the way you roll. I know that thing, pastors. I'm not going to change anybody. Don't you have a song say from the inside out? The change comes from the inside out. Trust in the Lord. Look, where, where are you putting your weight? What are you putting your way? Are you trusting in the world system? I, I watch a lot of politics there. I can't put my trust in that. I see the way people roll and they depend on the good looks, they depend on their talent. Pastor Coney is multi talented. Did you hear him on those drums? Can preach the leaves off the tree, can sing too. 
all of this in one body. And, and I remember when I was younger, when I saw a person had a whole lot of something, you know what I do? Give me some, give me some, give me some. <laughs> but the point of it is that he's still able to serve the Lord in spite of all God has given him. He has not gotten beside himself. And, and family, I just want to leave this too. I watched you as well as prayed with you as Deacon Dudley was going through some tough times. Sometimes Deacon Dudley would be in so much pain that his feet would jump. But he didn't complain. Tish would stand by his bedside and say, Daddy, are you in pain? Daddy, are you hurting? And we was like, Jesus. When they led him to be crucified, Jesus didn't say, I'm on the word. And I, 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 I was sitting, sitting there and toes were curling up in my shoes, fighting back the tears and trying to fight back tears, you know, sometimes it doesn't work. But I was in a mode of appreciation to see the love. The family projected to be, and he read for Tish or Matoria or Jackie or, or, or one of the other daughters. <laughs> There's only one left, right? <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> and he expected us to be there because he could be there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Saints, I just want to, I want to leave you with this stuff. Uh, Deacon Dudley, in my opinion, is earth angel. Did you hear what I said? Yeah. There are heavenly angels and then there are earth angels. Deacon Dudley is an earth angel. He walked in the way of the Lord. He was a blessing to me just to be in his presence. Every now and then Deacon Dudley would give me some advice. He would say, you gotta watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> Pastor Green, he said, you gotta watch that one. Yeah. You know what I would do? I say, yes, sir. Yeah. Deacon Dudley. Yes, sir. Some people are well, you're not in the military. Uh, uh, or you say, because I'm a soldier. Right. And God promised. Deacon Dudley is a great leader because of great follower. He worked with Pastor Jameson as close as he could. He did the same for me. And if I needed advice, I knew where to go. He was not one to talk too much, but the talking he did was worth paying attention to. And Douglas, you're carrying the DNA of your mother and your father. You're blessing us right now to see your strength. And I like the way you cut that rug there. And you cut it up, slice it up. If people don't understand, so what? So what? Rejoice in the Lord. that are here, all the preachers that are here, the biological family that's here, the spiritual family that's here, the Holy Spirit who is here. We thank you, Lord, for the life of our beloved Deacon Duff. We thank you, Lord, that you allow him to pitch his tent, to, pitch it, to, to have his tabernacle with us for the time that he was here. Lord, I, I, I just say, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Because I don't know what else to say, but thank you. And, and for the tears that are shed, Lord, I know that weeping may endure for a, a night. Because weeping knows it's on the way out, so it's enduring. But joy 
I said unspeakable joy will come in the morning light. I love you, saints. I love you, and, and I want to commend uh, Brother Henry for the wonderful job he did. And for all the flowers, I want to thank you, saints. I want to thank you. Let me have a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for your presence, for your mercy, God, and for your grace. Thank you for the gathering together of the saints. Thank you for the mark that Deacon Duffy has left in our hearts and in our minds. Thank you for the life both he and Sister Gloria, Gloria Dudley live. Thank you, Father God, for the, the dynamic duel that they are. Yes, I'm using present tense because they're alive in my heart. And I thank you for them. Thank you for all the preachers who made comments and encouraging words. Thank you for the strength you've given the family. Oh, even though tears may be shed and they ought to be, we know that you can tell me is a stalwart and he's one that has blessed us down to me. Thank you for sending him into our lives, Lord. We just want to say thank you, Jesus. And if there's anyone here who has not received Jesus as Savior, Today is the day. You don't know how many tomorrows you have. And I tell you what, there's no better friend than Jesus. He died so that we may live. He rose again from the dead to show that the sacrifice was accepted by God. Deacon Dudley lived his life as a testimony for Jesus, and so are we. I'm gonna ask now that Brother Henry will come forward, and we're close to 12 o'clock. I wanted to get out at 11.30, but I have had a good time, Sage. Now, don't forget uh, to follow the directions of the funeral directors, and to go directly to your college. Did anybody give me a one tonight? Yes. The immediate family, thank you, thank you. The final viewing for the immediate family. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Pastor. God bless you. God bless all of you.
we ask you, everyone to sit down so the daughters can come up. Everyone sit down so the daughters can come up. Thank you. Amen. It's been requested that everyone will sit down and allow their daughters to come up for the final view. Everyone else sit down, please. Thank you. Thank you, Saints, for your cooperation. Thank you. Thank you, nurses. Dorinda invited, what is it, National Nurses, Dorinda? So we would have plenty of nurses here. Amen. She invited Amen. Thank God for you. Pastors, love you. Question was asked yesterday uh, by Pastor Hove. Pastor Hope was a native son who grew up in his church. He and his wife both. And Pastor Hope said to me, where are all the good men? And I said to Pastor Hope, it must be that the Marines have them. <laughs> don't seem to be too many left. But we got a hope that we got good men here. Strong, seasoned, young men. And out of the congregation too. There's some good men left. There's some good men left. Deacon Dudley was exemplary in this report. I've been told that the people who are parked in the center of the lot out there need to move. If you're parked in the center of the lot because you couldn't park on the side, you need to move your car, please. If you're one that's parked in the center, because we got to get away quickly. We got a long drive.
Amen. 